Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper and this is Shakmat's Modular's Gemini's Path. So, the question is, what is Gemini's Path? Well, on the one hand, it is a dual VCA and you can use it as such, but you would be doing yourself a great disservice if you only use it as a dual VCA because this thing has so much more and I think that how Francois himself describes it as stereo dynamics is a very good summary but if I wanted to summarize its capabilities it is indeed um, stereo dynamics it is well uh, it is side chaining it is um, accentuation there is so much in this crazy little module that I truly love so I would hope everyone to stick around for the rest of the ride as well and I would say without further ado here we go so let's have a look at Shakmat Modular's Gemini's path well first of all it is a beautiful module to see I love the well, the, the, the diagonal lines all across the uh, the module it gives it a much more well, um, premium look to it. Don't ask me why that is, but that's just how I how I look at these things. That's just a, a little eye to detail I really appreciate. So uh, let's do a quick run through. So you've got your two pods. One is for time, the other is for depth. There is a selector if you want to go with extended time. Well, first let me just uh, turn this, uh, this rack up. That'll help as well. And you can just do that by pressing the button so you see the uh, the other LED shine in there. Um, the thing you're going to find then is the selected for the modes that you're going to be in. Your threshold selector. Then you've got your assign. So whether you want to say, well, I want to have the pods just op operating channel one or only channel two, or you want to have the C fee only for one or for two or for both. That can be done by using the assign button and the LEDs there as well. And then the really important one, that's the external input for the external triggers. And that is of course something that's gonna be useful if you want to do side chaining, which we'll be looking into because that's one of the, well, most common use cases, at least for me, for this module. So I will be recording some stereo samples later on, uh, but I won't do that as part of the, well, the actual video. I'll include them at the end because I only have a two channel audio interface. I can't um, explain to you what I'm doing and do a, st a stereo recording at the same time. So bear with me for that. Uh, this is of course extremely important because this is meant for stereo manipulation. Um, so half of the of the modes on this device are actually stereo only so you've got your um, let me just run through some of the modes there so you've got your um, uh, your expander so that's going to expand it when it gets a trigger and that trigger can be from the in input itself or it can come from the external input the second one is pump which is essentially uh, something like a side chaining where you do get a a trigger in and that's then gonna well turn down the uh, the volume of channel one and two then you've got your um, your pan but that's going to be following an LFO that you can set with time the fourth is the well let's call them a sort of uh, a sample and hold kind of pan where you go back and forth as much as you can you also have the alternate modes so let me just hold the button until it starts flashing and then you get your alternate modes so this is a another expander, but instead of being, well, a slope, it's gonna be a hold. So it's just gonna be one single level. And then you've got your pump that's gonna be replaced by an animated pump. So again, the LFO makes an entrance. And then you've got your auto pan and granulizer. So I won't be showing each one of these. Uh, but I will make sure that we uh, touch upon all of them in the audio samples that are going to be providing towards the end of this video. Uh, but first, let's just uh, quickly set up a patch. So I'm going to be using Hermit to drive everything here. And I'm going to be using both the Ona as a drone and I'm going to be using the, uh, the one for my samples. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the gate output from here from the first channel I'm going to get go to the one with that 
So let's uh, connect the one to the output here. Here we go. So now we should be able to hear the one playing. Perfect, nice kick drum there. And let's also include the CV per octave so we can have some melodious kick drums. There we go. Second channel is gonna be the Ona. So connect the Ona and grab the, let's do the pulse width modulatable triangle. There we go. Let's turn that down for now. And uh, let's go into the normal mode. There we go. So now we should can start playing around with it, shall we? The one thing we are forgetting is, of course, we want to use the input from channel one, so that's the one kick drum, as an external input for Shakmat. So let's do it like that. And the other thing that we should do is use this as an input for Shakmat first. There we go. There we go. So now, if we turn this up, we might see this happening there. Here we go. So what are we seeing? If I just do it like that. So every time we trigger something on the one, this is also going to be triggering something on the expander there as well. So this actually triggers the channel two, so which is indeed this one, at the same time as we trigger the one. But if we then want to do side chaining, I'm gonna to go to the second mode. It's nice, right? Let's turn down this so you can actually listen to what the side chaining actually does. So that's nice, right? Let's go back to the first one. Try some of the alternate modes. So first off, this is the expander on a single level. So instead of the the sloped one, this is much sharper, of course. Here we go. love that it brings such uh, dynamics to your mix if you just use it like this I love this I, I truly love this module for this and especially if you then go into the, the pump
And you can, of course, do all sorts of things with this. So what you can actually do is instead of using it like this, I can also use it to modulate CV. So I can actually just remove these, grab these, put that in there. Say that we want to grab this to do the full octave, and then grab this. It's fun, isn't it? I love that about this module. It's so versatile. Even though at first I thought, okay, well, this is a one trick pony, but it's not. And especially when we start to listen into the, the stereo effects that we can achieve with this, it's going to be fantastic. It's just something that I'm really impressed with, with what can fit into what is an, a 6HP mod module. And it's such a great, a great thing to play around with. So let's um, listen to this. I'm just going to disconnect this and I'm going to go back to the original patch. And we're just going to play around with it for a while. What we can do with this, it's just so fun. And what we can even do is grab some extra gates there, like this. This adds so much swing to it, if you ask me. I love that. So let's um, go back to studio. I'm going to record some stereo samples as well, and I hope everyone will enjoy them. Talk to you in a bit. Cheers. So I hope you enjoyed this look at Gemini's path from Shackmat Modular. I know I did and I really enjoyed making this video so I hope if you only enjoyed it half as much I'm already happy. So um, I would say this is a great little module that will add so much color and well dynamics to your mix. Um, I can, can't recommend it enough but what I do want to state is if you do have a chance to play with one of these go for it because it is something that truly needs to well fit your style and it needs to fit your approach to making music on your modular system so uh, look it up in your stores look it up online if you've got a friend that has one uh, give it a try because you'll fall in love with it at least as much as I did of course uh, that being said I would like to say well please everyone stay safe stay healthy and I hope to see you for my next video See you then. Cheers.